Mexicans. <laughs> and that was the Fox News alert. <laughs> we now go live to the White House, where President Donald J. Trump is about to hold a joint press conference with the leaders of the Baltic states. <clears throat> Hello, hi, how's it going? Let's make this quick, because I've got a lot of trade wars to escalate here, okay? That's why I just announced tariffs on more Chinese products, including fireworks and finger traps. <laughs> We've also expelled the infamous Chinese billionaire P.F. Chang. <laughs> He's done so, okay? Today we've got the leaders from the Baltic states. We've got Estonia, Lithuania, and I want to say Stankonia. The great Baltic nations, even in the game Monopoly, Baltic Avenue was always my favorite property. <laughs> Except for Oriental Avenue, which you can't say anymore, okay? <laughs> you have to call it China Street. Sad. Very sad. Now, before I turn over to these freak shows here, I'd just like to read a prepared statement to prove that I can read, okay? So here goes. <laughs> Gotta hit this, okay? <laughs> Do not congratulate Putin. No, wait, that's a note to me, okay? Just <laughs> forget about it. Okay, reading and go. The United States has a special relationship with the Baltic nations. God, I want to riff so bad. <laughs> we are so proud to honor the centennial of their independence from Russia. God, this sucks. <laughs> because our nations are truly friends. Okay, thank God that's over. Please. Time to freestyle. First up, a big congratulations to Vladimir Putin. <laughs> he won a great, great, very transparent victory in the Russian election. Fantastic job, Putin. Even though no one's ever been tougher on Russia than I am, including Hitler. <laughs> Okay, that's it from me. Let's do the Baltics quick and get out of here. Gypsy woman, you're first. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, thank you so uh, much to uh, President Donald Trump and welcoming the nation of Lithuania. Uh, we have uh, very much in common. Oh, my God. I'm already so bored. Uh, I wish I was watching Roseanne. How great is that show? Roseanne loves me. She's like a good Rosie O'Donnell. And we want um, efficient energy, or as uh, you might say in America, a big uh, bang for your buck. Um, <laughs> so in, in conclusion... Uh, okay, she's uh, finally done. Uh, thank you to President Trump. Now, whatever you do, don't mention her hair. Don't mention her hair. Thank you so much for that great speech, and by the way, your hair is insane. <laughs> Okay, I think uh, that's it for you, Zsa, Zsa What about you two, okay? <laughs> Other girl, President Balky from Perfect Strangers. <laughs> I'm just going to skip them to save some time. Uh, excuse me, Mr. President. Oh, my God, there are questions, too. What is this, a full work day? Okay, <laughs> make it quick. You just denied knowing anything about the Stormy Daniels payoff, but if that's true, doesn't that make her NDA non-binding? Ooh, that's a toughie. Borat, you want to take that one? <laughs> Me? Well, I don't know. I think that question was for you. It was not for the president of Latvia. <laughs> Give him a chance. Let him answer. Okay, well, I am not the strongest English speaker, uh, but we have expression in my country, and it's translated roughly as this man is lying. <laughs> Okay, that's enough, Latvia. Next question, and guys, let's try to keep it fun. These three came all the way from Hufflepuff. <laughs> so let's show them a good time. Yeah, you. Mr. President, why do you keep attacking Amazon? Do you really hate Jeff Bezos that much? I do. I hate Jeff. <laughs> because he's way richer than me, and he admits to being bald, so I feel threatened on two levels. Next question. <laughs> let's mix it up and do a Baltic reporter this time, please. Yes, my question is, why are you sending the National Guard to the Mexican border? Doesn't that seem, uh, how do you say, uh, pointless? Well, seriously? 
You're going to come at me like that? Do I come to the shoe that you live in and slap the potato out of your mouth? Okay? Look, we have to keep our borders secure. Mexico is sending caravans full of immigrants toward us. And I've seen these caravans, truck after truck, barreling across the desert. The trucks are covered in metal and spikes. There's a guy strapped in front just wailing away on a flaming guitar. And there are freaky albino dudes shimming around skinny little poles. Uh, Mr. President, I believe you are describing the movie Mad Max Fury Road. <laughs> That's right. They are some mad Mexicans. Okay, one more question. <laughs> yeah, you. Mr. President, are you worried that your tariffs are ruining our economy and your immigration policies have destroyed America's standing in the world? No, I'm not. I'm not worried at all because here's the thing that no one else is saying, and I'm the only one who's willing to actually say this. I don't care about America, okay? <laughs> this old presidency... This old presidency is a four-year cash grab, and admitting that will probably get me four more years, okay? But I do not care about any of you, okay? Does that basically answer all of your questions, okay? Does it? Okay. And one more thing. Does anyone else see this rabbit, okay? I'm not the only one who sees that rabbit, right? And it's wearing glasses, is that real? Okay. I think this might be a Donnie Darko situation. Fantastic movie, by the way. Love Jake Gyllenhaal. And live from New York, it's Saturday night. Could go back to that day we met I probably would just stay in bed You run your mouth all over town And this one goes out to the sound of breaking glass On my Range Rover Pay me back, good bitch, it's over All the presents I would send Fuck my friends behind my shoulder Next time I'ma stay asleep I pray the Lord my soul to keep uh. And you got me thinking lately Bitch, you crazy Go like, go break me for so fucking done with you, girl. So fucking done with all the games you play. I ain't no tick tack toe. Save the X and O's on another note. I'm go break me for so fucking done with you, girl. So save the X and O's on another note. I'm ghost. If I could go back to that day we met, I probably would have stayed in bed. You wake up every day and make me feel like I'm incompetent. Designer shoes is annex tabs. Compliments your makeup bag. You never had to buy yourself a drink. Cause everybody wants to tap that ass. And you got me thinking lately. Bitch, you crazy. And nothing's ever good enough. I wrote a little song for you. It go like, oh, Ray.